Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And I hope you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night, wherever you guys are out there in the world. We have a lot to talk about. We're going to dive on in. We're going to address it. April 29th, I put out a post over on X and I said that I have a feeling that XDC is going to shock this entire market. Now, you could call this engagement farming. You can call it whatever you want. But realistically speaking, since we have been talking about XDC for well over now three plus years, um, we have been doing research, we have been studying the markets, we have been really kind of hands on for so long. When it comes to XDC, we have, you know, started to see a, a huge change in the entire landscape of not only what XDC is focused on, but also the entire ecosystem. And now we are starting to see a lot of the hype and speculation moving towards more mature use cases, like for an example, tokenization. And it's funny that we are now seeing that, um, you know, at this current moment in time, and it really kind of goes back to a lot of these legitimate utility projects and what they have to offer. And when it comes to tokenization, well, XDC is at the forefront of this. I said, this is one that has been so overlooked for years now. Documents clearly explain why trade finance will be the first industry to truly embrace digitalization, as we look at tokenization, it's happening in trade finance in a very big way. And trade Phoenix built on XDC is at the forefront. And this is something that I feel as though everyone is kind of missing around tokenization because, you know, a lot of the use cases around tokenization kind of go back to the whole idea of like NFTs and what NFTs are doing, how NFTs work, how utility NFTs are, are really kind of becoming a big thing. And a lot of people just overlook trade finance and how tokenization could trade could uh, change some of these industries like trade, for example, and um, they're just ignoring it because trade finance is not a very exciting topic, right? Nobody wants to really kind of hear about trade finance unless you're involved in the tech and involved in the space. So it's not a very exciting area to focus on, but it is at the forefront of tokenization and XDC is right there with it. And outside of trade finance, though, you also have other things that XDC is focused on. For example, Comtech Gold, which is tokenizing gold, uh, Kinesis Money, which is uh, tokenizing gold and silver. And then you also have the stablecoin initiatives like the Phantom Dollar, which is the US dollar stablecoin and Stasis Euro stablecoin, which is a huge one. Tokenized U.S. Treasuries with yield tech is also another big deal uh, because we do know that tokenized U.S. Treasuries is now becoming a very, very large topic of discussion from some of the largest traditional financial giants like BlackRock, for an example. Uh, so this is a huge endeavor that a lot of people kind of overlook when it comes to XDC. And this is just the beginning. I have been talking about XDC for well over three years now. The moves and developments made by the team in those three years really support the fact that XDC is well positioned to dominate the real world asset space. Now, I will say this. Listen, I'm not the best content creator out there. I'm not the best anything. I am merely a researcher and content creator around crypto. But one thing that I will say is that for three years now, we have been focused on a lot of these projects. And even prior to me creating content around the space, I've known about a lot of these projects for well over now, like four or five years. When it comes to XRP, it's been well over like five years. Um, but I didn't get heavy into research until about roughly 2019, 2020. When it comes to XDC and when it comes to HBAR, when it comes to any of these projects, we now have so much information behind them. And we have this uh, comparison now. We can kind of compare and contrast what was happening in 2021 or 2020 versus now. And we can kind of make the assumption that, all right, well, Considering that these projects are so much bigger now, it would make sense for them to target a new all-time high and go even significantly higher. It also allows us to put a valuation on some of these projects in a speculative form and say, well, it wouldn't be crazy to think that XDC could hit, you know, 10 to 20 to possibly even $30 billion worth of value considering all the, you know, substance behind it. So I think that, you know, as we do focus on a lot of these projects, I think that we also need to focus on the past and you know, where these projects were three years ago or four years ago and where they are at now. And XDC is one that, in my opinion, I should spotlight as becoming a very large giant because in over three, four years, they have grown astronomically. Now, talking about the stable coins, just recently on April 25th, we saw Stasis partners with Phantom Phi to broaden the year's stable coin offerings within the XDC network. 
Phantom is an innovative project at the nexus of DeFi and RWAs. We're kickstarting this cooperation by launching the Yurse FXD pair, explore and deposit liquidity right away by visiting dap.phantom.fi. Uh, so again, we're now starting to see the ecosystem coming together and really kind of leveling up DeFi, but also even real world asset initiatives. I think that this is huge. Listen, XDC really was shy to the DeFi space for a while there. Um, I, I wanna say until like around 2022, the DeFi space on XDC was pretty much dry. Now we're starting to see liquidity flowing in. Now we're starting to see DeFi expanding on, X on XDC as well. And I think that this is great. Listen, I've always talked about DeFi. DeFi initiatives are huge for not only just growing the network, but also providing more volume and value to the network and even bringing in users too. I think that this is great. And I think that this is an incredible endeavor. And I want to see more of the ecosystem really kind of collaborating like this in terms of some of these networks, because there is a great network behind these networks. And when I say that, I mean, like the ecosystem itself is a network of networks. So love to see it. Now, outside of this, we just recently saw the co-founder of Zinfin um, put out a post regarding wondering how you can launch RWA projects on the XDC network within minutes. XDC network is the Amazon Web Services for tokenization, featuring AI and tools like USTY from Yieldtech. And if we actually look at this, right, check out how cool this is. So this is XDC is built to become the Amazon of RWAs with AI tools and building blocks like USTY and Yield from uh, Yieldtech. Here is how hundreds of RWA projects projects can build on xdc within minutes check this out um this is how the process would work and this is all through ai and even um just rwas now there's no sound but we have can you generate a smart contract for a yield bearing stablecoin pegged to price of the us dollars and collateralized um by usty tokens on or sorry or tokenized us treasury uh tokens by yield uh yield tech so it goes through this entire thing it runs the code it gives us back code which is actually kind of crazy to say and then uh, they actually talk about the explanation the full breakdown of it and uh here you can go over to um this other platform so if we go back i can show you guys so this is remix.zenfin.network and this is where they're putting in the uh, full um, file code. So there's the code. We have a uh, compile it. And this is just building out this full um, RWA service. This is pretty crazy to say the least, but this is how easy it is. And this is within roughly, you know, five, 10 minutes, possibly, maybe even a little bit less or more. Um, but for the most part, this is the future of RWAs. This is how fast things are going to be built out on these networks. And there it is. It's completed. So it's pretty crazy, but this is the power of AI mixed with RWAs. And I've talked about it, right? The convergence of AI with a lot of these networks, with a lot of these services, it's going to grow at a very, very fast pace. And when you have it all converging together on a network like XDC, it's a perfect mix. Now, talking more so about RWAs, um, over on the xdc.org website under solutions, we have RWA tokenization and solutions. And this is where we start to see a full breakdown of a few things, but also the growth. So like I said, in terms of tokenized treasuries, the reason why this is now getting you know talked about so heavily is because back in January of 2023, there's about roughly $105 million worth um, of treasuries tokenized. At the beginning of this year, it was 718 million. Right now, I think that's at like $1.4 billion. So this almost doubled in less than six months. This is going to continue to ignite at a rapid, rapid pace. And uh, even private credit. When you look at private credit from 2021 to now, things are starting to really heat up around this space. RWAs, guys, the tokenization space is it's truly something that you want to pay attention to. And even down here, by the way, there is a, a few insights in terms of, um, you know, what what's happening around, you know, the RWA space and how U.S. Treasuries are now becoming a big deal and how everything is just booming. And it's because of the fact that we now have these institutions diving in. Um, they're kind of just throwing capital around. They're testing, they're trialing things because everyone is looking at like what BlackRock did. Like, oh, they're bringing in, you know, millions of dollars. Guys, it's it's chump change to them. They're just throwing money around. They're testing a few things. They're trying to see what's the most efficient 
when the real money's hitting this market, you'll know it because it's not going to be in the millions. It might not even be in the billions. It could very well be in the trillions. And that's why we look at a lot of these networks like XDC that have the efficiencies there that are capable of becoming a big giant around the RWA uh, sector. Now, also outside of this, just recently, XDC um, network founders are in reinvesting $100 million to fuel next gen Web3 startups. And this was huge. This is announced on March 10th. Now, I did. I uh, utilize ChatGPT to summarize this, and we have the XDC Network, an enterprise-ready blockchain project focused on decentralized finance and real-world asset tokenization, recently announced a significant initiative. The founders have committed $100 million from their personal token allocations to support new Web3 startups developing on the XDC Network. This investment, facilitated through XVC Tech, aims to foster ecosystem activities on the protocol. And uh, they will distribute the funds through its co-GP program in collaboration with five tier one Web3 VC firms. This move encourages startups to focus on developing with the within the XDC ecosystem without needing multiple funding sources. The recent investments by XVC tech in firms like Trade Together and Propine highlight its dedication to fostering growth in the Web3 ecosystem. The XDC network has formed impactful partnerships since its inception, notably with SBI Holdings and Securitize. These partnerships showcase the network's versati versatility and capability in areas such as masternodes and tokenizing securities. Operating as a carbon neutral layer one blockchain since 2019, the XDC network provides a robust foundation for innovative projects in trade finance, payments, and asset tokenization. XVC Tech, known for its next-gen technology solutions and investment focus on RWA, Web3 infrastructure, AI, and DPIN, positions itself as a leading innovator in disruptive technologies. This creates opportunities for collaboration with prospective Web3 startups. In conclusion, the XDC Network's $100 million investment signals a significant phase in accelerating growth for Web3 startups and fostering innovation, innovation in blockchain sector. Uh, collaboration amongst stakeholders will drive the future of development of XVC Tech and XDC Networks, shaping the landscape of decentralized technology. So this is a huge move. And it is all around broadening the overall ecosystem, which, by the way, is already blossoming right now. Um, if you actually look at um, some of the solutions already on here, you can see, you know, RWA tokenization, trade finance, enterprises, developers, and creators. And when you look at every single one of these sectors, you can see what they're focused on, what they're trying to do, what they're, you know, doing already. We already looked at the uh, tokenization one, but in terms of like trade finance. We've done deep dives on this all day long. There's a lot of great projects already building out on the network around trade finance. Um, then you mix in, you know, some of the other names like, for an example, Circularity Finance. Um, there's so much. There's so much going on here. Um, I've broken it down already in the past. But if you guys do want me to do a full ecosystem deep dive, I can do that. But there's so much. You have XSwap. You have Ply. You have Comtech Gold. Yeah, I mean... The, the overall ecosystem around XDC is only going to continue to grow. And with investments like this, I'm very excited about the future. I'm, a, I'm very excited about what XDC is doing. I'm very excited about the growth in the last three or four years. Um, and if you are an XDC holder, got to be paying attention to this type of stuff because this is providing value to the network, providing volume to the network, and possibly even bringing in tons of users to the network, which is only going to impact XDC itself as a token in terms of value and adoption. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.